Hi everybody, and this morning I am taking a walk around where I live, Aylesbury Town. Now, Aylesbury's got a little bit of bad press lately because of uh, it's been voted the worst place to live in England, or maybe Britain, which is very, very unfair. I mean, as everybody knows, I'm originally from Lincoln, but I've lived in Aylesbury for 37 years, and, you know, it's quite a nice place to live. So I'm going to uh, take a walk around and show you the highlights on this pretty misty and foggy, cold, frosty morning in Aylesbury, and pick out some of the nice parts of Aylesbury to show you. Okay, so let's get going. Right, as we come down past the Market Square to the arches, the well-known arches at Aylesbury, <coughs> up here on this corner is a signpost uh, and I'd like you to, um, anybody can tell me why this little lane is called Long Lionel. I'd be really interested. It stretches down here past the pub, down the back of there. Uh, I'm not quite sure why it's called Long Lionel, but if anybody can get uh, back to me and tell me what that's called Long Lionel for, I'll much appreciate it. Now going through the arches here, you will see the statue of David Bowie, which was unveiled by the singer Howard Jones in 2018. Uh, it's called The Earthly Messenger, and I, I think it's really good. Uh, it's had a lot of criticism. I think a lot of people thought that it was bought with public money, and of course it wasn't. It was, uh, it was done by crowdfunding, and it was designed and sculpted by Andrew Sinclair. And um, I think it's a very nice addition to Aylesbury's, um, Aylesbury Town Centre. It's a very tenuous uh, adoption to David Bowie. He basically, the only thing that he really ever did in Aylesbury was he performed Ziggy Stardust for the first time in the old Friars Square. But I think you'll agree, it's a, it's a pretty good, um, it's a pretty good statue. Now this building, until 2018, was Aylesbury Crown Court. Um, best known probably for the 1964 trial was held here of the great train robbers. Um, it's a very imposing building, very nice indeed. And up until 1845, that window at the top there was where they used to hang people given a death sentence in Aylesbury Crown Court. Recently, the only fame associated with it, apart from a drugs case, which uh, was for Keith Richards of the Rolling Stones, is, is the outside court used in Judge John Deed with Martin Shaw. Now, if we walk down here, this is the, this is the Market Square. Well-known Market Square of Aylesbury with the clock tower in the background. And if I uh, spin round here, you will see the old Market Tavern over the road, or the Green Man, very old building. And these are the lions, along with the third Baron Chesham statue that sit outside the courthouse. Now, I once stood about here a few years ago 
uh, there used to be a music festival called Hobble on the Cobbles here and I stood about here when Fish, the ex-frontman of Marillion, an Ellsbury band, came here and sang Markets We're Heroes with the rest of Marillion. A one-off and very enjoyable that was too. Used to be some good gigs on here. I remember John Otway doing a fantastic one, swinging from the scaffolding on this particular market square. over here if we go over here there's an interesting little thing if we can see it on the wall here this is down the side of the alleyway of the green man and it's now called the gateway to the arcade but on this wall here is a plaque which was put up by the Ellsbury Society and the Halifax Building Society. This is a, a plaque saying that Ronnie Barker OBE first trod the boards on the 15th of November 1948 at the Market Theatre, which once stood at the top of this passage, which you can see now is the arcade. This is the statue of John Hamden, which stands just at the corner of Market Square. John Hamden was uh, MP for Buckinghamshire, and he played a leading part in getting rid of Charles I in the English Civil War. He was killed at the Battle of Chalgrove Field um, he has his sword stolen now and again and I have seen him with a traffic cone sitting naturally on his head from time to time but he's a very famous character from Aylesbury. Down here is the oldest pub in Aylesbury. This is the King's Head uh, which if you go up this courtyard here uh, of course it's closed at this time in the morning I will come back later and do another video of it when it's open so you can walk straight through the courtyard and out the other side. Uh, it's very nicely lit up and everything and as you can see it's a beautiful building. Very, very nice indeed, and we will go in there later when it opens up. The King's Head was built in the 15th century, uh, and it's the largest surviving coaching inn in the south of England. It is supposedly here where Henry VIII wooed Anne Boleyn, and it's also here where Oliver Cromwell was supposed to have stayed after the Battle of Worcester. Now I'll tell you more about it when we can get inside the courtyard. So at the moment we'll just move out of here and, uh, and go down the road. Now I'm now walking up Temple Street past the Queen's Head, another very nice old pub in Halesbury and uh, Temple Street's quite nice actually. This is the uh, a nice area of Halesbury with old houses and uh, there's Temple Square up there and it's a nice part of Aylesbury. If we carry on walking up here we are walking up towards St Mary and the Virgin's Church with its clock tower you can just see in the mist in the background these lovely roads with the side roads with little cobbles on and up here is I believe where the arms houses are these are a set of old houses 
and uh, there's a house one of the houses there and as we walk up here this is the site of Aylesbury Museum where the Roald Dahl Children's Gallery is Roald Dahl famous he lived just up the road in Great Missenden and is buried in the churchyard there so this is where the museum and the Roald Dahl's Children's Gallery is but as you can see here's a very lovely road with very nice with very nice houses on either side and a lot of these houses were bought by the Thomas Hickman charity and turned into flats which is very interesting indeed uh, there is a signpost a plaque actually on here This one's called the Chantry. Right, as we carry on our very, very old building on the left here. Very nice building, look at that. That's beautiful, isn't it? And we will take a walk into St Mary the Virgin's Churchyard which looks rather nice in the mist today I must say and here it is St Mary the Virgin Now, there's been a church here since Saxon times and it's reported to be the original burial place of St. Othis or St. Osgith in the 9th century, making it an unofficial place for pilgrimage for many years. The graveyard is said to have been used for the whipping of soldiers or for cock shine. Now let's see how many people feel the need to Google that. It's a very creepy graveyard I must say I have actually walked through here at night and it's a little bit uh, it's a bit creepy but we're coming down now to some just show you this side of the church. And it leads out to a, a lovely passageway of houses down here. Very, very nice passageway houses down the side here.
Looks good in the mist, doesn't it? How can you say that this is the worst place to live in England? What a load of rubbish. I definitely didn't realise it was such a big church. But it's... Uh, it is very nice and I'm going to, at a later date, take a little walk around this graveyard. It looks very interesting to me. Never been around it and had a look properly. So, what do you think of our little tour of Aylesbury? I think it's a lovely town. Every town has its bad parts, but, you know, I think it's a bit of a joke saying that Aylesbury is the worst place to live. I've been to a lot worse than Aylesbury, I can tell you. There's parts of Lincoln, my own town, which I love, are much worse than Aylesbury. So, you know, come and give Aylesbury a visit. It's a nice place. This graveyard, I'm definitely going to give that more, more time. It looks very interesting. And uh, anyway, there's still a few places to look at. So uh, see you soon. So the King's Head is now open, the courtyard, um, from the 15th century. The biggest coaching inn still standing in the south of England with this big courtyard. beautiful place uh, as I said before it is supposedly where Henry VIII wooed Anne Boleyn and also where Cromwell stayed after the Battle of Worcester it supposedly has tunnels underneath and priest holes inside and it also has three ghosts one is the Grey Lady, who is seen standing, who is seen standing by the fireplace in the Great Hall. And uh, although another one is thought to be a maid who fell to her death in 1900 and is seen in the corridor by the Red Staircase. And the other one is a nun who is seen in one of the bedrooms, but is only seen by female guests. Now, it's a beautiful uh, old inn. I'm not going to go inside, but as, I can, as you can see, it really is very, very nice. And one of the nicest and, of course, the oldest. So, this morning... I'm sitting with Ronnie Barker outside the Waterside Theatre in Aylesbury. Uh, it's a bit dull and gloomy this morning. But the Waterside Theatre is uh, a fantastic theatre. It was um, opened in October 2010 by uh, Dame Silla Black. And I'm now going to give you a show of that. What do you think, Ronnie? Yeah? So, this is... The Waterside Theatre, Aylesbury Waterside Theatre. Pretty amazing building. Cost £47 million. Pounds. Uh, this is once again the statue of our, our mate Ronnie, who started his career up the road here in theatre. And as you can see, it's a very impressive building. Gonna go round the back now to the very nice new building for well if you like that sort of thing the very modern building of Buckingham New University and as we go over the bridge here I'll just take a quick look at the back of the Waterside Theatre we go down here and you'll see 
it's a very it's a very very big place supposedly it's supposed to look like the rolling Chilton Hills but, um, I'm not so sure about that but if you come down here you'll see here is the very nice Aylesbury Basin of the Grand Union Canal which is a, a lovely place to be and uh, I've been out a few times on the little trip boat over here going down the canal and it's uh, it's very nice and if you if you want to stay somewhere buy up the travel lodge which is right on the canal so yeah it's very pleasant let's take a little walk around as i said here is the buckingham new university and um, quite a nice building and we turn around here you'll see the little trip boat and travel lodge and some nice seats here to sit here and go down the side of the canal very peaceful here at this time of the morning that's what I mean how can you possibly say that this is one of the worst places or the worst town in England what a load of rubbish so anyway as I say I think the vote or the poll on Aylesbury being the worst place to live in England is absolutely preposterous. It's a lovely little, it's a lovely town. I mean, you know, it's, as, as I say, it has its ups and downs and its good parts and its bad parts. But my God, you know, it's, that, that's rubbish. So anyway, I hope you liked my little video on uh, Aylesbury and uh, I'm now going to go into the town centre to meet my daughter for an enormous latte and um, in one of the very nice cafes that we have in Aylesbury town centre. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you later.